Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the equivalent circuit of single phase induction motor. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Single phase induction motor equivalent circuit. The double field revolving theory is used to form the equivalent circuit. The double field revolving theory based on that the equivalent circuit is drawn. This double field revolving theory is a separate video available. The link is given in the description box. What is the double field revolving theory? When two, flood, two fields are known, the torque produced by each can be obtained. Double field that refers, we are referring two fields are available. The difference between these two torque is the net torque acting on the rotor. So based on the two torque, the net torque is the difference between these two <coughs> torques are available. Then the imagine that single phase induction motor is made up of one stator winding and two imaginary rotor winding. So to form the equivalent circuit, we assume that <coughs> one stator winding is available and two rotor windings are available, imaginary rotor windings are available. One rotor is rotating in forward direction with a slip of S. Yes while the other is rotating in backward direction with the slip of 2 minus s. Right? One is forward direction, slip s. Another one, backward direction, the slip is 2 minus s. Now, there are two types available, with core loss and without core loss. To draw the equivalent circuit, let us assume initially the core loss is absent. Then, we will go with the with loss. Now, we will consider without loss. Now we will see the parameters. Let state or impedance Z1 equal to R1 plus Jx1. This 1 refers state R, 2 refers rotor. So the R1 is nothing but state R resistance, X1 is nothing but state R reactance. So the X2 rotor reactance referring state R. R2 rotor resistance referring to state R. Right? The 1 number 1 refers state R. Z1 state R impedance is R1 plus Jx1. R1 is state R resistant. X1 is state R reactance. Then X2 R2 refers rotor. Rotor reactance. X2 is rotor re reactance refer to state R. R2 is rotor resistant refer to the state R. Now we will see the further detail. So the impedance of each rotor equal to R2 plus Jx2. Earlier we refer R1, X1. Now it is small R2, small X2. So the small X2 is nothing but X2 divided by 2. Similarly, R2 is R2 divided by 2. That is what is X2? This is a state R reactance refer to the state. Rotor reactance refers to the state R. Right? Now it is each impedance. Impedance of each rotor is small X2 plus small r2 plus jx2 so that is given in terms of capital x2 by 2 capital r2 by 2 so this resistance of forward field rotor is r2 by s backward field is r2 by 2 minus s we already discussed s is for forward direction reverse direction 2 minus s now the core loss is neglected so therefore r0 is neglected we have only x0 R0 is not available. X0 is nothing but no load. X0 by 2 that is actual magnetizing reactance. This refers to the magnetizing re reactance. So we have state R impedance Z1 that is R1 plus Jx1. Then we have X0 actual magnetizing reactance. Then we have this R2 and X2. This R2 and X2. Based on that we can draw the equivalent circuit. Now we will refer to the equivalent circuit. So this is applied voltage V current I1 flowing through the state R. R1 X1 resistance of the state R X1 is reactance of the state R. Now already we discussed that there are two field available forward and reverse forward and backward. So based on that this is refers the forward so backward forward voltage backward voltage we are already referred 
to imaginary rotas. So this is x naught. This r naught is neglected because of core loss. Because of neglecting core loss. So only x naught is available. This is actual magnetizing reactance. Then this is referred to the forward direction so that r2 by s x2. Impedance. Impedance and resistance of the rotor in forward direction. Current is I to F refers forward current. Is that F refers forward impedance of the forward rotor. Similar to we have Is that B impedance of reverse backward rotor. I to B refers current flowing through the rotor in backward direction. Backward direction rotor. X naught is common. So because of backward we refer R2 by 2 minus X and X2. This S refers forward direction, 2 minus S refers reverse direction. So, this entire at the equivalent circuit, what we have? This current applied voltage, current through the stator, impedance, resistance and reactance of the stator. Then, rotor side, two, two things, forward and backward. Vf, Zf, Vb, Zb, I2f, I2b. S refers forward direction, 2 minus S refer reverse direction. So based on that we can find the parameters one by one. That is Zf and Zb. Impedance of forward rotor and impedance of backward rotor. Thereby other parameters. So first we will see the impedance of forward rotor. What is the impedance of forward rotor? Refer the diagram. This R2 by S and X2 connected in series. That is in parallel with X0. These two are in parallel. X0 is parallel with R2 by S plus X2. So based on that we can find ZF. So that is given. R2 by S plus JX2 connected in series. That is in parallel with X0. So this is R1. This is R2. R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Otherwise, Z1 into Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. So, R2 by S plus JX2 plus JX0. So, this refers the impedance of forward rotor ZF. Similarly, we can find impedance of reverse rotor. So, this is the impedance of forward rotor is given. Now, impedance of backward rotor ZB. R2 divided by 2 minus X plus JX2. These two are connected in series. That is in parallel with X0, JX0. So, Z1 into Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. Now, we can segregate the real term and imaginary term. J terms are combined together. So, R2 by 2 minus S plus JX0 plus X2. These two are combined. Here also, it is combined. Now, we calculated ZF and ZB, impedance of forward rotor and backward rotor. Now we will see the further parameters. So at state or at start or standstill, that is at the beginning, S equal to 1 and 2 minus S equal to 1. There is no speed, right? This is fully, fully slipped. So zero, speed is 0. So that S equal to 1. That means it's not rotated it's at the standstill or start. So ZF equal to ZB based on that both are equal. VF equal to VB. Forward impedance, backward impedance both are same. Forward voltage and reverse voltage, backward voltage are same. In running condition, VF is almost equal to 90 to 95 percentage of applied voltage. So when it is running condition. So under that what is the equivalent Z equivalent Z1 refers stator Z plus Zb these two refer rotor forward rotor impedance backward rotor impedance. So this is the total equivalent impedance of a entire circuit. Now we will see the current current flowing through forward as well as backward. I2F current through forward rotor refer to the stator. What is I2? I equal to V by R. Vf. I, I2F refers forward 
forward direction in that the voltage is vf the resistor is uh, the impedance is r2 by s plus jx2 this s refers forward in case of backward 2 minus s so vf equal to i1 into zf how to find this vf v equal to i into r the current flowing through the equivalent circuit from the supply into zf zf is nothing but forward impedance of forward rotor so we can able to find current as well as forward voltage thereby current similarly backward current through backward rotor vb divided by r2 2 minus s we already discuss s refers forward rotation 2 minus backward rotation similarly the backward voltage i1 into zb right so initially we consider stator thereby rotor two rotors forward and backward then we calculated forward impedance backward impedance zf and zb from that we calculate the z equivalent total impedance of the circuit z1 plus zf zb these two refers rotor this one refers stator then we can able to find forward voltage from that we can find forward current reverse voltage thereby reverse current now we will see the power calculation now we calculated voltage impedance current all the parameters are calculated from that we are able to calculate power thereby torque now consider pf is the power input to forward field rotor similarly pb is the power input to backward field rotor this pf can be given, given as we know that power equal to i square r here forward so that i 2 f square into r 2 divided by s because of forward field divided by s similarly p b equal to i 2 b square backward current r 2 divided by 2 minus s for backward we are referring 2 minus s here s 2 minus s so forward field rotor power and backward field rotor power is given so the p m mechanical power developed equal to 1 minus s into net power input that is pm equal to 1 minus s into pf minus pb the difference between forward field rotor power and reverse field rotor is the net power input then p out is nothing but pm mechanical power input minus mechanical loss minus core loss from that we can able to find p out so first we calculated pf and pb the difference between these two is the net power input multiplied by 1 minus s give the mechanical power input from mechanical in power input if you subtract mechanical loss and core loss we will get power output now we will see the torque forward torque tf equal to this is a general formula pf divided by 2 pi n divided by 60 newton meter similarly tb equal to pb minus divided by 2 pi n divided by 60 newton meter so the net torque is difference between these two tf minus tb so similarly we can find the shaft torque tsh p out divided by 2 pi n divided by 60 from power output and speed we are able to find the shaft torque p out p out we already calculated p out divided by 2 pi n divided by 60 newton meter will give the shaft torque then efficiency is a general formula net output divided by net input into 100 percentage of efficiency mean multiplied by 100 so finally we calculated efficiency also so this is coming under without core loss now we'll see with core loss what is the equivalent circuit for with core loss if core loss is to be considered then it is necessary to connect a resistance R0 in parallel with X0. In previous case we neglected the resistance. We consider only X0. Now we need to consider resistance that is parallel with X0. This R0 is nothing but small R0 is R0 divided by 2. So based on that we can see the equivalent circuit. So this is nothing but R1 x1 that is referring the stator 
this two refer the rota i1 is the total current flowing v is the applied voltage now i know that uh, rotor we have two parts forward and backward so this is a forward is that of forward rotor impedance reverse rotor backward rotor impedance is that b similarly i to f means forward i to b means backward vf forward voltage backward voltage in previous case we have only x not now r not is connected in parallel so what is the total impedance is that not that is nothing but is that of with this stepper these two are connected in parallel so that refers is that not f that is in parallel with this network r2 divided by s into plus x2 right in earlier case we don't have r not so these two are in parallel that is in parallel with the other network that is the zf similarly zb now we'll see that equivalent impedance so this uh, zof equivalent impedance of existing branch in forward rotor is that of equal to r not parallel with jx not so this term not available in previous case we don't have r not now r not is there so these two are in parallel that is given by is that of this is that of is parallel with r2 divided by s plus jx2 right so these two are parallel these two are parallel is given by is that zero of that is parallel with this network in case of forward rotor in case of backward rotor is that zero b r not plus jx not both are same so this network is parallel with the another network r2 divided by 2s plus jx2 that is is that b right forward rotor impedance is that f equal to is that not f that is nothing but parallel of r not and x not that is parallel with this network similarly is that b so we are able to find the is that f and is that b forward rotor and backward rotor impedance so in this video we discuss equivalent circuit of a single phase induction motor based on the double field revolving theory state r with two imaginary rotors referring with s slip s to minus s then with core loss without core loss we discuss the equivalent circuit we calculated the impedance followed by power torque shaft torque then efficiency similarly with core also subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening all the best for your examination